Hello? Why are you calling me at 5 in the morning? Wait, who, wait, what happened? Alright, if there's no one they're playing, I'll catch the replay on PLTV later. Wait, hold on, did you say Roki Sasaki's pitching? Alright, give me a sec, I'll be right there. So I was sound asleep, but now it's Sasaki time. Lotte visits to Kyoceridome this weekend as they look to begin a three-game series against Oryx. Oryx pitcher Sachi Yamasaki is in his ninth year of professional baseball and starts game one for the team. He gets off to a good start for Oryx and retires the first three batters he faces as they head to the bottom of the first. It's Sasaki's third start of the year, and he enters the game with a zero ERA. And he looks to keep it that way despite giving up a double to Oryx third baseman Yuma Mune. They may have lost Masataka Yoshida in the offseason, but they've managed to fill the gap with Tomoya Mori, who with one swing ends Sasaki's hope of having a scoreless month of April. 1-0, Oryx. It's not often that Sasaki loads the bases, but with a couple of hits and a hit by pitch, Oryx is able to capitalize with an infield single off the mound and a sacrifice fly to right. And for the first time all season, Lotte fans have a reason to worry despite Sasaki being on the mound. A hit, a walk, and a well-placed bunt put runners on third and second for Lotte. And Fujiwara looks to capitalize. Both runners will score easily on this double to right. Fujiwara gets a third on a ground out, and he'll score on the single from Fujioka, and that will bring Yamasaki to his knees. And in the fifth inning, history is made. For the first time ever in an official Pacific League game, Sasaki is clocked at 102 miles per hour. And he'll join Shohei Otani as the only two Japanese pitchers to throw that hard. Not sure why he waited till the fifth. Maybe he disagrees with Sugimoto's choice in manga. A single and a hit by pitch will put two on for Oryx, as the former home run champ Sugimoto looks to put Oryx ahead. Game's tied 3-3 in the ninth inning. Two outs and two runners on for Lotte. Former Arizona Diamondback and Seattle Mariner Yoshihisa Hirano will try to keep the game tied. And he succeeded. I mean, yeah, that was a bit dramatic, but kept you watching, didn't it? Unable to walk it off in the ninth, Oryx goes to extras against Lotte. It's the top of the tenth inning, and bases are loaded with one out for Lotte. A sack fly from Koki Yamaguchi scores Fujiwara from third, and it's 4-3, Lotte. Chiba's longtime closer, Naoya Masada, enters the game in the bottom of the 10th and looks to secure the game. He strikes out Mori. He'll send Sugimoto back to the bench. And former Cub Frank Schwindel will fly out the center field. That'll end the game, 4-3, Lotte.